Okay, in the kitchen now is Paolo from Fajita Republic. Uh, good to see you. Good to see you. Happy yeah. New Year. Same to you. How was everything? It was wonderful. Now it's like back in the saddle, you know, uh, yeah. which is a good thing. That's also a, it's kind of, you know, nice to get back to routine and things like yeah. that. So, And we're really excited because actually um, we're, we pushed the December big night out to January. December is a tough time for people. We, we get that. So our next big night out is coming up at the very end of the month, January 31st, and it's at Paolo's wonderful restaurant. This place is getting rave reviews. It's called Fajita Republic. And this is not your ordinary Mexican restaurant. You guys are uh, quite a bit different. How so? Well, we are not a, a Tex-Mex restaurant. It's more like a real uh, authentic Mexican fine cuisine. Mm -hmm. So it's different uh, menus or different plates that you don't see in, in the regular Mexican restaurant. Things like fish tacos and, uh, well, one of the things we're going to serve is this shrimp appetizer. I think people think Mexican food, they automatically think, you know, nachos and, and, and that type of thing. But Mexican food also has a lot of seafood. Correct. And, uh, and we have uh, fish tacos, uh, shrimp tacos, ceviche, uh, three or four different kinds of shrimp. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a new jalapeno sass shrimp mm. coming that is, is just great. Mm. Very fresh too. Very fresh. Everything is, is fresh, made from scratch. And, 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 and we have the chimichangas, the burritos, the fajitas, that uh, the 70% of our menu mm -hmm. is, is that. And the other 30% is the different uh, higher uh, Mexican plates. Sure, and you. that's what we're going to be serving when um, we have our big night out. We were talking about saving money. That's the cool thing about these big night outs is for a really reasonable price, these restaurants that we're going to once a month are putting out a full-on several different courses, including cocktails. In this case, the dinner comes with several courses and two margaritas. I know you do a lot of different margaritas there at the restaurant, too. Yes, yes. Lots of flavors, lots of different Lo types. Every Everything that you can imagine. Even there is a, a cucumber margarita Ooh. flavor or a jalapeno margarita Ooh. flavor. Yeah. That's how Sounds delicious. Wow. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit at the menu, and then we'll, um, we're actually going to make their homemade guacamole, which I can hardly wait to um, dive into. But this is uh, something that is one of the best things I've ever tasted. It was so delicious. This is the appetizer we're going to be starting out with. This is one of your signature dishes. Tell us about this. Uh, it's a dream sh a shrimp appetizer. Uh, it has a little bit of a spice because it has a little bit of red um, pepper. Uh, we cook it with oil, olive oil, and then honey. And, and it's really fresh and, 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 and really healthy. Lime juice. Lime juice and, and honey mm. is, the, is, the, is the, the too deep. And it's, you serve it warm. Um, this also is an entree too, right? So you can get this as an entree you can or get an appetizer? An Correct. You can get it as an entree. It goes with white rice and black beans. Mm, yum. Mm. It is delicious. Really, really good. So that's what we're going to start at, well, with. This is their signature uh, shrimp appetizer and a nice margarita. Then we're moving to one of the soups that you're serving. Tell me about this soup. Spicy tortilla. Tortilla chicken soup. Uh, it's, it's creamy, it's hearty. Mm -hmm. It has a little bit of a spice, not that bad, like you can eat it. Mm -hmm. And then we put that tor fried tortilla there, and in, 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 it's, it's, it's very good. Ooh, it looks delicious. Yes. For the main course, we're doing fajitas. Uh, your choice of beef or chicken come out on a sizzling platter, which is really fun, and they serve with tortillas and all the fixings the beans, the rice, uh, guacamole, pico de gallo, sour cream. Everybody can you know, make their own, which is really fun to do. So, and everybody loves fajitas, very fresh. Right, you fajitas. do a lot of different types of fajitas at the restaurant. We have 10 different kinds of fajitas. Wow, what other yes. kinds besides the chicken and shrimp, or chicken and beef? Uh, we have carnitas, which is pork. Okay. We have salmon, mm. salmon fajitas. We have uh, uh, shrimp fajitas. Uh, probably in, in a new menu in February, we're going to have tuna, Ooh. Fi tuna and filet fajita. Sure, sure. And, um, and we have the veggie, veggie fajita, Yum. which it, it sells pretty good. I wasn't Yum. expecting it, but this is a good seller. Yum. And then for dessert, uh, we're going to um, have this rich, delicious, dense chocolate cake, right? Chocolate tart. Um, actually, our, our friends from Runaway Spoon. Oh yeah. Those we buy the. She she gives us the desserts and then and we sell it. We sell them in the restaurant mm. and uh, uh, they are good. Mm. <laughs> they are very they, they good. They look very very good. <laughs> Little whipped cream and chocolate I drizzle. Oh yeah. This Let's is my wife's favorite, but um, I love the flan, cactus flavor flan. Ooh. This is good. Ooh, yum! Yeah. That sounds delicious. Okay, time to get cooking here. Um, one of the things that they do at Fajita Republic is they make fresh guacamole every day. It's not one of those things that comes out of a tub. A lot of Mexican restaurants don't make their own. Um, and boy, is there a difference. Ooh, I don't even like that other stuff. You, you can know? tell that. Oh yeah, yeah. And I, 
I, I think uh, guacamole needs to be made fresh or, or it's just not good, you know? Yes. And not a lot of ingredients. I mean, it seems like less is more here. It is really simple to make and, and, uh, and, and but it has to be fresh mm -hmm. and you have to use fresh ingredients. I agree. All right, so let's get started. It looks like you've got some beautiful ripe avocados. Um, and and should we show people how to get the pit out? Well, we just, we just cut the avocado. Um, some people use a, a knife to heat it and mm -hmm. just uh, get it out. Other f way to do it is you just push it down and it comes out. Okay. So we have a few here. Uh, some of the people do it like this too. Okay. So it's really, sure. it's really sure. easy to handle or use actually. Or use a spoon to get or it out. Or use a spoon. Yeah. We yeah. have a spoon there, yep. which I didn't really... I didn't use right away. But these are perfectly ripe. I they mean, are very good. When you go to the grocery store, uh, if those avocados aren't right, they're not going to work for you. Or if they're too ripe, you know, then they're yeah. going to get mushy. They are, they they are black. I usually dr try and buy a couple extra because when you get home and you split them open, you never know what you're going to get. You know, buy a couple extra avocados uh, just, uh, just, just in case. If you need it, you can wrap it always in, in, in newspaper and oh. then that speeds up the process of getting them okay. out. Okay. Do you want that pit good. in there or do you want something to put the pit in? Do you want to get that out of there? The um, pit? Yeah, put, put, put it in here. Okay, in all right, let me get the avocado. Mm -hmm. All right, so now you're going to mash up the avocado. We mash up the avocado, you know. And we're using a potato masher. Uh, we use a fork. Do you like it? Do you like to leave it a little bit chunky? I uh, like it a little chunky, I yes, a little I bit chunky. Too. So That's you can, so you can so feel made. it in your yeah. ears. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then, um, and everything, whatever you want. I mean, we. this is what we use, garlic powder. Mm -hmm. Garlic powder. Salt. A little bit of salt. Onions, if you don't like onions, you don't have to put them. I do. I mean, it's the beauty of guacamole. You can mm -hmm. add or, or, mm -hmm. or subtract whatever mm -hmm. you want. Fresh diced tomato. Fresh diced tomato. And a little bit of lime juice. Lime juice. The lime juice helps it so it doesn't get uh, brown or right. dark right. right away. And also gives it a really nice flavor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Give it a real mix here. Oh, does that look good? Wow. Then we add some cilantro. Fresh cilantro. Fresh cilantro. Mm. Cilantro is very, very good to use. It gives, it gives every, everything that you use cilantro is, it gets a different flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree um, with you. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. Wow. And this is kind of the fun thing. Let me get a bowl that you can put that in. Um, this is something that uh, you, you said you heard about this. In Spain. In Spain, uh, what they do is, once the avocado is ready, and this is what we're going to add, I mean, we, have, we will have the option to do it. Once it's ready, what they are doing is they're adding uh, bacon. Ooh. So they just put a little bit of bacon, a bits, little on bit of bacon bits on top. Ooh. Everything's better with bacon, Paolo. Everything is better with bacon, <laughs> yeah. And you can use uh, regular bacon or you can use turkey bacon. Sure, Or, or sure. not bacon at all. But this, then when you eat it with the saltines or, or, or chips, mm. is, is, it has a really nice Ooh, flavor. Yum. Oh, so that's a, that's a Super Bowl recipe. Oh, I love it, love it, yeah, love it, love it. Love it is good. All it's right. really easy to do. Details on the big night out coming up. Call today to make your reservations. Talk to your friends, your coworkers, or come yourself. It's a great place to meet people. Um, and you want to call today to make reservations. The number's on the screen there. Um, it's $40 per person. And again, that includes all these courses that we talked about, the shrimp, the tortilla soup, the, the fajitas served with all the fixings, the rice, beans, the guacamole, pico de gallo, uh, sour cream, two margaritas or two cocktails of your choice, and uh, that wonderful chocolate tart. And it's $40 per person, so you can't beat that. You can't. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you, Amy. Appreciate it. Bye.